In Times Square, First Lady Michelle Obama surprised the Olympic athletes and encouraged them to bring home the gold. The Olympics are also about inspiring young people here at home, uh, truly, to get them active and to live up to the example that our Olympic and Paralympic athletes have always set with their dedication, their determination, their unyielding commitment to excellence. The U.S. Olympic Committee held its 100-day countdown to the start of the Summer Games to thank the team behind the team, as Sicklerville native and champion wrestler Jordan Burroughs told the Midtown crowd what it means. The support that you guys give us on a daily basis increases my level of activity in the wrestling room and decreases the amount of stress that I have to have outside of it. Team USA has several New Jerseyans who've already made the Olympic team or still competing for it in several sports. Fencing champion Ibataj Muhammad of Maplewood gave the First Lady some tips on the sport. I'm hoping that they, they incorporate fencing into the Let's Move campaign. Muhammad is the first Muslim American on the women's Olympic fencing team and will be the first American athlete to compete in the Summer Games wearing a hijab. I feel like it's, it's a moment of pride and, and um, a step in the right direction for us. I love to see Team USA be as diverse, diverse as possible. Emily Wold of Freehold and Michelle Vatis of Cherry Hill hope to make the field hockey team. I am hoping I'm controlling everything I could possibly control. I'm doing what I have to do and then the team will be named and hopefully I'm on it, yeah. From here on out, just keep working hard each day and remembering my goal in the back. Boxing analysts consider Newark native Shakur Stevenson inspired, trained and coached by his Boxing Hall of Fame grandfather as one of Team USA's best chances to bring home some gold. I feel like boxing is a sport where I don't got to be the fastest, I don't got to be the strongest. As long as I'm smart, as long as I know how to hit and not be hit, I'm straight. Day one of 100 on the road to Rio where dreams can turn to gold, silver and bronze. In New York, Michael Hill. NJTV News.